Okay, so what is up everyone? This is Karan here. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. DotOS V5.0.2, a very interesting kind of a custom room is now available for a lot of devices. I've installed it on my two devices, Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 8, as you can see on the screen. It's based on Android version 11. For Redmi Note 8, it's unofficial build for Redmi Note 9 Pro, or you can say me a tool build Redmi Note 9s Pro, Max, and Poco M2 Pro. It's official build. It's based on Android version 11. It's just quite great and it has a very interesting UI. I'm gonna share with you some things about this latest dot OS and why it's kind of unique. Let's get started. Let's find out some things which you get in this latest dot OS. So we are here at the home screen as you can see I'm gonna review for one device and almost everything is same so I'm gonna share with you some things which are available in Redmi Note 9 Pro I'll share with the differences also first of all yes for Redmi Note 9 Pro or you can say me a tall build is official build and this one is one of the major difference for Redmi Note 8 it's unofficial build so this is not actually that major difference but yes it is as you can see something very interesting kind of codes are written here whenever you try to open the developer options but these are open by default let me show you by going into customizations these are some insane customization options which you get here or you can see a very interesting kind of ui which is available everywhere or you can see the quick settings are also quite interesting one this one is looking interesting blurry and you can see though there's no titles there but you can simply adjust them in your settings if you want to let me show you by going into my Redmi Note 8 how these things are working. Both have the same kind of UI. Some apps are a little bit of different here. And let me show the camera first of all. There is a camera difference straight away. For Redmi Note 8 you can see the normal Snapdragon camera. And for the Redmi Note 9 Pro or you can see me at all users. We have the latest Minui camera. You can say ANX camera for Android version 11. And yes photo mode, portrait mode etc are available and working fine. So this one is really interesting one if you go for the more options we also includes the clone option which is a very interesting feature 48 megapixel etc yes it has the 48 megapixel not sure about the 64 but yes 48 is working fine here this is a very interesting thing video mode etc is available if you go here yes you can record up to 4k 30 fps not sure about if it is working or not we also have the macro lens and almost everything seems to be interesting one so this is a very interesting thing which you get in the near tool build for uh, dot os which is available for the near tool build moving on to some other things which you get in this latest dot os you can see here we also have the anx scanner option available which was expected here let me show you some other differences if you go for the play store let me show you that if it is uh, if my device is certified or not if you go for the settings here if i go for the settings sorry for that i don't have internet connection but yes it will show me device is not certified in redmi note 9 pro and device is certified in redmi note 8 so there's another difference and also let me show you one more thing that i don't have any any kind of magisk or even magisk module or whatever else i've installed both are not rooted one is one has device certified without root and one has device not certified without root so you need to install magisk and apply the hide magisk module for that to pass the safety net status moving on to other things connected devices etc has the same kind of things apps and notification also has the assistant option available there if you move on to other things battery here's a new ui i didn't got much time to test the battery backup honestly but yes the ui is looking really interesting one so that's why i thought i should review it we have the display settings every ui is a little bit of changed here you can say almost everything is changed it's not like the normal android custom rooms it's a bit of different descendant was one of the great ones but dot os 5.0 beaten them all we also have other things includes the xiaomi parts xiaomi parts is also available for the redmi note 8 users but let me show you some differences which you get in the xiaomi parts here you will see the clear differences between both of these xiaomi parts in redmi note 8 you don't get many features but in redmi note 9 pro usb fast charge xiaomi doors a lot more features are available so there's another difference there redmi note 8's unofficial build is good but redmi note 9 pro's unofficial build is looking quite great but customizations of course there should not be a single change not a single change everything is same so let me just show you some changes which you get in the customizations or customizations which you get in this build some settings for customizations which are not a big thing but okay let me just go back and let me show you some other things about this customizations 
If you go for the lock screen and AOD, you can customize the clock and the design of this thing is looking very, very interesting one. You can see here, you can customize this by going into just click here and it's applied successfully. Also always on display feature control not supported and this is same with the Redmi Note 8 also. We also have the LCD display. So AOD is not supported and it's a very interesting thing that they didn't give to you. We also have the battery related customizations where you can customize the battery styles and the customization is looking quite great. Customization is good and it's available in other custom rooms also but the way to customize these customizations is looking quite interesting one. Normal data, Sikta, right clock, enabled, clock customizations. Many interesting things are available in this customizations options and you can customize them really interestingly. I just personally love this UI a lot and you will definitely love it if you install it on your device. Quick settings also have many interesting things. We have the tiles title, disable or enable. By default, I have disabled that. I already shown you and after enabling, this is how it will look like. After disabling, this is how it will look like. So this is very interesting and customize a lot of things kind of a resurrection remix room but resurrection remix is not updated to android version 11 that's why you can customize the rows and columns also everything is up to you themes related customizations are available too light and dark theme with only one click notification transparency you can simply enable or disable and this one is after disabling this one transparency and as you can see this difference here also i have customized some colors in redmi note 9 pro that's why there's some showing something like this this one and as you can see now transparency is changed so these are very interesting features which you get here i personally liked it a lot system also has some little bit of things like the gesture related things Navigation navbar pill, that's good. Gboard, we have the screenshot. They take a three finger screenshot. This option is quite good. Let's try out. Yes, it's working fine here. Almost everything seems to be interesting one. Of course, in my case, I'm using the official build also. An official one is looking quite good one. Lock screen, fancy lock screen media artwork is also working fine. At last, we have the launcher grid where you can simply customize to 4x4, 3x3, 2x2. It's just up to you. But whatever you do, you will be you will love it definitely. These were all the things I just wanted to let you know some little bit of things about this custom room. I hope you like this. Installation is quite same, so I didn't thought I should give it to you the installation tutorial. You just need to install the zip file and you're good to go. I already installed it on both devices. Working fine here, both are coming with the Pixel Launcher and both of these things. Let me show you. As you can see, both are available as Pixel Launcher pre-installed. So that's kind of the same. All these things I've already shown you. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe me. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Have a nice day.